Crude markets are taking oil optimists by surprise yet again. Hedge funds boosted bets on a rally just before West Texas intermediate prices tanked from a report showing surging American stockpiles. Wages rose 7.3% to the highest since April in the week through June the 6th, U.S. Commodity Futures Trading Commission data show. The next day, futures fell the most since March and are lingering near this year's loss. All eyes turned to what's happening in the U.S. market after OPEC's deal to limit output failed to impress investors as it didn't include deeper cuts, additional allied countries or an exit plan. The report that American supplies of crude and products jumped the most since 2008 came as the last nail in the coffin. Futures, after reaching $52 per barrel in the run-up to the group's meeting in Vienna last month, plunged to near $45 last week and traded around $46 on Monday. Blame it largely on shale. As explorers in Texas lead the longest U.S. drilling revival on record, confidence in OPEC's strategy wanes. Igor Chin, chief executive officer of Russian giant producer Rosneft Oil, is among those who doubt the deal to reduce supplies will stabilize the market over the long term as U.S. shale fills the shortfall. Not only did supplies in the U.S. surge in last week's CIA report, but the agency also forecasts U.S. crude output will average more than 10 million barrel per day next year for the first time. Not even tension in the Middle East was able to get oil to pick up steam last week after the shock waves sent by the EIA report. Hedge funds increased their WTI net long position, or the difference between bets on a price increase and wages on a drop, by 15,037 to 221,140 futures and options, the CFTC data show. Longs rose by 2.5%, while shorts decreased by 7.4%. Money managers also boosted their net long position on the benchmark U.S. gasoline contract, by 6.5%. Wages on diesel flipped to a net short position. U.S. total crude and product stockpiles increased by 15.5 million barrel to 1.35 billion in the week ended June the 2nd, according to EIDATA. Nationwide crude imports climbed by 356,000 barrel per day and exports dropped by 746,000 barrel per day, the largest decline on record. Before oil took a tumble, some banks were already having doubts on the market. Goldman Sachs Group's equities team slashed its WTI and Brent price forecasts for this year and Citigroup Incorporated said OPEC needs to give more clarity on the group's process for targeting stockpiles as it cuts output to ease a global glut. Analysts are cautious on the oil market, as prices are low and probably headed lower, because fundamentals aren't supporting. At some point, as we get back into the lower part of the 40s, we'll have to see if OPEC does defend again.